Okay. Walter, I don't know what's going to happen here. Um, like I said before, I never test these things out. This may be impossibility. So, if it is, maybe I won't post it. Anyway, um, okay, I looked around the shop. I found a little short scrap of inch and a quarter. And actually, this chuck is probably... Um, beyond its capacity. I, I, it seems like to me these chucks are maybe inch and an eighth or something. So I've got the blade extended out, the new holder in here, and I'm going to try to cut off that piece right there. Doesn't look like anything's in my way. I took a couple thousandths off the diameter to make sure it was sort of round to start with, and I I ran something across the face, so hopefully that's good. Um, I'm going to have to move the oil can here someplace because I'm going to have to do this with my left hand somehow. Now let's get started and we'll see what happens. So here we go. I'm going to turn the lathe on. Kind of a slow speed. Get some oil on here, although it's got some on there from what I was cutting before. I, I still haven't fixed the jibs here, so that's got to get done one of these days. But the blade sticking out there a long ways, but that's what it has to be. I may go at this, you know. I may go at this uh, in segments because rather than try to do it all at one, even that big diameter seems to be cutting though, my hand's going to be in the way so I'm going to have to do this a little differently. I got to keep the feed going, that's the main thing. I don't keep the feed going with dead in the water, it'll just chatter. Maybe I should have pointed that cutoff plate, but I didn't, so it's okay, but it's cutting. So. I thought maybe I might have something a little bit bigger around the shop, I, but I would have had to put the forge on here in order to do it anyway, so this, this works out okay. I couldn't find anything any bigger. I know I got some I know I got some bigger rods someplace. I had some humongous rod at one time that I did something with in the pig lake. It was huge. But I don't know where it is or I, I don't even know what I used it for actually. I can't even remember. Hope nothing bad happens. That's what I always say. I have to put a lot of oil on the brush so it, it gets down in there. I, the chuck's got a very small grip on this thing too, actually. I only I only stuck it in the chuck about halfway, so that's not too good either. But we'll see what happens. I've had these things get, they're not in the chuck all the way, they, something bad can happen sometimes. Especially when the chuck's beyond its capacity. I was hoping this would be a fairly short video. That way, you know, that means I got that means I get it cut off fast. But it doesn't look like I can go like gangbusters here. I'm, I'm just doing what feels comfortable.
After I get in a ways, I could probably get more aggressive. As soon as I let off the feet, it starts to chatter. This time I got the, I think the last video I made, I didn't have this the height, so I got the height set up. I got the adjustment screw on top. I guess you can't see it in the video. Too bad I can't get on the other side of this, but I can't, so that's just the way it is. I got the nut, I, I cut, I made the nut for the back of the clamp and I, put the height adjustment on it. I got plenty of room here to make this cut. It's an inch and a quarter. Since, since uh, I've got the cross slide in the 90 degree or parallel to the bed position, so we can cut off quite a bit more if we need to. Generally, I'm not cutting off things this big anyway. This is just a test. See how this new holder works. I think I saw the thing rock a little bit. <laughs> now these jibs, I need to adjust the jibs on the cross slide. I know that. They don't feel right, so. going to be in the way, but it's easier to do this way. This holder is like night and day. There's no comparison. I'll never go back to the other holder again. These spring holders work. They're a little trouble. You have to build one, <laughs> you know, especially for this size lathe. You can find a, you can find an Armstrong for a bigger lathe, but not for this. Although they build one, Armstrong used to make one about the right size for a small lathe. Probably made for like a nine by twenty or something. I could get more aggressive if I wanted to, but this is going long, okay, I just let it go. I haven't made any cuts much. I in building the the spring holder for the lathe or for the tag mill or for the take lathe, I uh, I use this holder to, to make a few cuts on some half inch rod, but that's about all I've used it for so far. Well, this is just a test cut. I was hoping to find something bigger. I, if I could have, I would have put the four jaw on here, but I, I just couldn't find any bigger rod. If I have something around, I don't know where it is. Like I got that blade sticking out there awful far. I don't know, what did I do? I set it up for an inch and a half diameter, is what I did, or more. And I know this was only an inch and a quarter, so I guess I overdid it. The last two demos I did were kind of haphazard, so maybe this was, hopefully this will be a little better. I had to stop and set up and fool around with it. I didn't have any height adjustment or anything, so 
but this time maybe it'll go a little smoother. You know, I can actually check the cutoff too. Get my calipers over here and see how see how nice a job it does. 16th inch blade should should uh, give me a nice clean cut, I would think. I have a 40,000th blade. It won't go in this holder, but it's a little wobbly. I don't know, you know, when I first fooled around with these things, I I had trouble parting things, but eventually I got to where, I don't know, I guess I got the feel for it or something. But I haven't had a lot of troubles parting things off lately, even with the other holders. I wonder how long this video is taking. Doesn't seem like it's taking me all that long to part this off. But like I say, I could go a lot faster. But I think I'm going to bring the tool out for a second. Clean some of this crap off of here. There we go. Laid rocks around. Should have plenty of oil in there. I wouldn't think we'd need any more. Look. Always makes me jump when that thing pops off. Why is that? I knew it was gonna come off there. I don't think my I don't think my height is set up as ideally as it could be, but let's see I hope it's not too hot. Nope. Alright. Well since I faced it off a little bit, now I don't know what I did with the calipers. Well, here they are. I can't find anything these days. 
Well, let's just see where we're at here. Well, not perfect. So on the outside edge, we've got 124. At the inside, we got 131. Well, not bad, actually. You know what? Seven thousands. These things are never perfect. So, all right, that went okay. I'm satisfied. So, let me shut the camera off. I'll post this as part three, and then that'll be it for this uh, for this holder. I think we're we've demonstrated that it works. So, I think. I'm happy.